Crystal Cave Cave Tour. That's what we're doing first. No, this is the end. This is the end. Other than that, though, welcome to Crystal Cave, everybody. So here and now, we are all standing inside of the largest and most less tight geo in the world. So I suppose you guys can check that off your bucket list. Um, they found this by accident or luck, what have you, back in 1897. Gustav Heinemann and a couple of his men were trying to drill a well, basically. So they broke through the crust of this geo, they started to find water. I'm sure they're a little bit surprised to see all of this instead. Yeah. Hopefully none of them up and quit their day jobs, though, because the less side turns out to be fairly inexpensive. It is a soft, brittle stone, so you won't be able to cut it, shape it, and make jewelry out of it, so there's no real gemstone value to them. And commercial uses today are far and few in between. It was used at one point in time in uh, road players and fireworks, just kind of pyrotechnics of that sort, thanks to the Shantium sulfate that's inside of them. If you were to grind these into the dust and burn them, they'd burn in a bright crimson red color, making them ideal for that. Um, of course, over the years, they've come up with more disposable ways to achieve that goal, so it left us with a lot of this stone that has no real value to it outside of looking at it, but um, hey, here we all are. Um, <laughs> But in turn, this helped the Highlands out. They were open throughout the entire Prohibition era. At that point in time, there were six wineries on the island. Five of them closed their doors because just selling grape juice was not cutting it. So Highlands lucked out by having this in the backyard. Beyond that, the Celestite itself, as I said, it's a soft, brittle stone, but it's also extremely dense. To give you some perspective on that, we have this crystal over here being the largest one that remains down here. 18 inches across, about 7 inches thick. It's going up into the wall roughly 20 inches. That piece alone, though, is projected to weigh right around 180 pounds, so to give you some idea. Um, coloring we're looking for, <coughs> best you either in that corner or on the ceiling where it came in at, but you can see it throughout the cave. We are looking for the sky blue with a little bit of white. That's the ideal coloring in Celestite. Over the years, unfortunately, lights and water don't mix the best, so I brought forth the algae growth that we'll see. Um, why they built the men's restroom right above us is beyond me, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> Here and now, though, we are 42 feet below the surface, roughly 5 feet above lake level. That's the main contributing factor to the nice cool temp down here. The average is 55, 58 degrees year-round, so yeah, 90 degrees outside could cool off. 20 degrees outside could get warm. The only other thing I have for you guys is this is one of several caves on the island. Albeit this one is a geode, but there are 23 caves overall. The rest will actually be limestone caves and caverns. Five of them were open at one point in time for tours just like this. But over the years, Mother Nature reclaimed some. So today, it's just here in Paris across the street that I still safely explore. Um, yeah, that's about it for me. I'm done yapping at you guys. This is really just here for your visual entertainment these days. So welcome to walk around, look around. It does go that way. It just circles around through the stairs that we came down. We just ask that you guys watch your heads going that way because it gets a little tight. Other than that, head on up whenever you guys are ready. Enjoy. <laughs> Crystal cake. Stay here. Water. 